What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another individual skills validation. Today we're gonna to be going over the King LT. Again, this is one of the more difficult skills if you're not practiced on it just due to placement and things of that nature. But again, we have Sergeant Zuniga gonna be our demonstrator today. I'll be his CLS if he needs it. But uh, I really hope you guys are getting something out of these videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so here we are. We got our mannequin right here. I got the steps. I'm gonna be going step by step. And as I do that, he's gonna be performing what he needs to perform in order to show you guys the proper way to do it. Again, take this with a grain of salt. If your instructors tell you to do different, uh, follow what they say. They know how they're gonna grade you. And you know, they probably know a little more than we do. But without further ado, let's knock it out. So step one, BSI, right? Your gloves, good to go. Step two, inspect the upper airway for visible obstruction. Okay, I'm looking for any you do not see broken anything, teeth. So you're good. No, nothing. So step three, direct assistant to hyperventilate the casualty for 30 seconds. Hyperventilate the casualty for 30 All seconds. Right, so now that I got this, I'm going to go ahead, put it over the nose, get it in the mouth. At this point in time, I'm going to go and prep my equipment. I'm going to make sure that, that my King LT is lubed up and my uh, syringe is actually functioning properly as well as my King LT. So you want to show them how to properly size yeah. the King LT as so well? So the King LT... Pretty much it should go from the purse of the lips all the way down to, uh, to the angle of your uh, jawbone. Sweet. So guys, we're going to see my hyperventilated, right? He's got his equipment ready. He's made sure it's worked. He's uh, checking it, filling it up, right? Making sure it inflates. He had lubed it up as well. So those are steps four and steps five, right? Yep. So we're using Germex as lube because we didn't have any actual lube. Do not use actual Germex, guys. But uh, yes, so now that he's applied lube, he's going to position the head in the snipping position, right? And you will verbalize alternate position is the? The, uh, the neutral position. Exactly, right? So now that you've done that, he's going to hold the King LT at the connector with the dominant hand. With the non-dominant hand, he's going to perform a tongue slash chin lift, right? So you guys see it? And now that he's done that, he's going to uh, advance the tube in. As the tube passes the back of the tongue, rotate the tube back to the midline. So you can see this. he's going in at an angle. Passing the tongue. And as he passes, he's going down, twisting towards the midline, right? And he's going to put that in there until it goes all the way in and bam, right? So all the way in is going to be pretty much where your lips, where the lips uh, purse like towards the connector. Exactly. So without exerting excessive force, advance the tube until the connector is aligned with the teeth or the gums, like he just said. And now he's going to, with using the syringe provided, he's going to inflate the cuffs of the King LT with the appropriate volume of air. Since this is a medium size, he's going to use at least uh, 60 to 80 milligrams. Yeah. Or milliliters of air, my bad guys, not milligrams. Uh, so now that he's inflated the King LT, he's going to attach the BVM before gently bagging the casualty to assess ventilation. Simultaneously, we draw the thing up to until ventilation is easy. And so as you can see, the lungs are filling up. If they weren't, what he would do is he would slowly lift the thing up to as ventilating to make sure he gets proper placement. All right? So now that he's done that, he's going to direct the combat lifesaver to ventilate the casualty with the BBM. And then he's going to auscultate the field uh, to watch for rise and fall of the chest and confirm tube placement and at this point you will attach a pulse lock as well. So I will take over right here. I'm doing this. He's auscultating. He attached the pulse lock, auscultated, and then that's good, right? So now that he's done that, he's going to secure the device to the casualty. Okay, using tape with wrap around. And at this point I'm still be ventilating guys. So he's getting his tape ready, right? What should we do? You need to come around. Just wrap it real quick. Come around the patient, tape behind his head. All right, and then come back and wrap around one more time. Yes, guys, and this is one of the ways you can tape. There's other methods of taping. This is the way he prefers to do it, right? And so that, bam, this is secure, and you just continue to reassess your casualty, right? It's always a good idea to reassess. And that, guys, is the King LT. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's helping y'all in uh, AIT with the skills. I know it can be kind of nerve-wracking at first when you're actually getting ready to test out. I promise you, though, if you go slow and you go smooth, you'll, you'll get it done without any hiccups, guys. It's just a matter of memorizing the steps 
and just you know taking your time with it, not freaking out. But again, like this video if you found it informative. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And even if you're not signed into your YouTube account, please just take the two minutes it takes to do that. It really helps the channel out, helps us grow, helps us get more information out there to y'all. And uh, yeah, comment down below what you're most excited for for being a 68 Whiskey Combat Medic. But thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. We'll see y'all in the next one. Later.